we're um, here in M2Tango once again, um, bringing some tango tips, some information that you might could use when you're dancing home practicing. I know it's been a long time since since we really had milongas and lessons, like real lessons, but we still hope that you're practicing from home to do, uh, this week. We have uh, the Boleo week, and today I have Nasia with me. Hello, Nasia. Hello. So we will continue the Boleo work. Uh, Bruntis and Hani uh, took the Tango One a uh, few days ago, and uh, Ivan Martin yesterday, the Tango Three Four. So we will, uh, let's say, complete. Uh, the, the work for Boleo. Uh, we'll bring back Boleo today and bring some variations. So we'll focus a lot again in technique and communication, connection, you know us, we talk a lot about these things. Um, and Boleo is one, uh, one uh, really, really nice uh, way. Yes, uh, since we're going to work with Tango level two and three, there is certain aspects, certain things that we assume that you really know. In case you have any doubt with the terms that we're using today and, and uh, the live stream of today, we recommend you, we encourage you to go back in the, in the videos that, you, that we've been posting this week, for example, the one on Tuesday and the one from yesterday, where you're going to have uh, different levels and you will see, um, you will find the right level for you. Of course, everybody's welcome to try anyway uh, our suggestions of today. Uh, and as we said, we're going to work a little bit with the filling and the back polios. So, we, um, we're going to start. We're going to first show you what we're going to do today. So. So, we're going to work with this polio today, the one that goes on this side. Yeah, we're going to show it quickly again. And maybe we should st uh, say first that we'll start with the low uh, boleo as a preparation, and then we'll move to the to the high boleo. It's the side that it hasn't been tried a lot uh, these uh, last days. That's why we focus on this today. Yeah, it's it's the side it's the side that we're missing. If you look at Tuesday and Wednesday, that's the one we're missing. So it's the in the ocho that goes to the right. Yeah, for the leader. So we, what we get, we're looking for is to interrupt this step and to create this boleo. Yeah. So let's jump into the first exercise. We're going to get close to the camera so we can show you what we want. In this first exercise, what we want to do is find your partner and try to create a, a 90 degrees angle between the two bodies. I mean, if you see the hips, my hips are in this line, right, like this. and Nasia, like we create exactly. This. We're going to show uh, it from it's different like angles. A triangle, if you see. Yeah. yeah. So we're really comfortable here. Yeah, we're going to show you the this part, so you can see the back of it. It's my hand. It's really comfortable. My body. It's next to her body, and it's the same for her. We're both really comfortable because the both bodies kind of fit. So let's just take a moment to to stay here. Feel feel comfortable. Shoulders down. Yeah, shoulders relax. down. Really yeah. flexible in the body. And use your partner as a, st a stabilizer, making sure that we are offering something with my, with my axis. Be careful with going out or being on your own. I don't know if we can show it, right? Or sometimes when we have the shoulders up, that we are kind of, uh, we boycott ourselves in order to find comfortable a comfortable embrace. So we should be able to stand on our own axis. So uh, by uh, using each from other, this angle now. we don't mean that if her man leaves, I will fall with him. It means that we just touch and connect there. It's a connection point, not a point that if he leaves, I, I fall. So if I, I will move now and yeah, Herman... Yeah, we're, 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 sure we're just moving around so you can see it yeah. from all different angles. So you see, if I move myself, Herman is uh, totally unaffected, uh, let's say. Yeah. It's not that he's falling on, on me. I hope that that's clear, that we, we're not falling towards each other. We're not yeah. pushing each other. We're just finding a, a nice contact. And we show it on this angle, too. Yeah, so we stay here for a minute. I don't know. Make sure that you're both comfortable and that you find the right embrace. Yeah, we're doing this on the closed side of embrace. Now we're going to do the same in the open side of the embrace. 
So again, now this is going to be this angle. We have the open side here. And again, we're trying to, we're going to show it from a different angle. Here, you can see it better. Again, I have this line. She has this other line. We can of we 90 degrees if possible, but on the other side of the embrace. And again, we just stay here for a little bit, making sure that I can feel the body of my partner with my body. That means that I'm my torso or whatever. You will find different point of contact, but I'm comfortable there. I'm able to relax my shoulders and to stay with my partner. Yeah. So with this exercise, we try to uh, to create this feeling, or also start creating a bit uh, using the torsions for us followers. We also are comfortable on the shoulders. We want the shoulders down. We want the hips uh, sort of down towards the floor. This will help us to give the the quality of the boleo. Uh, later. Yes, uh, yeah, that's a, a, a reinsure that. What we're trying to work here is with the feeling, how we feel the moment of the, of the boleo, because this is exactly how we're gonna be in the moment of the boleo. It should be comfortable. Yeah, Let's we change take. angle again so you can see it, I don't know, from the back and Maybe. from this one. Yeah. From this one. I mean, this. This could be easy an ocho situation, right? If we take the step. In the close uh, embrace setup, yeah. Good, which brings us to our next exercise. We're not gonna focus too much in ochos today, but um, we're gonna just quickly think about it. You did that, uh, or uh, Bruntis and Honey worked uh, on that, and uh, you can uh, revisit uh, the video also. So the exercise here, uh, we're going to show it in close embrace. We, it's level 2-3, so we expect you to also try it in close embrace if you can. So now, it's sidestep together. Pivot, and I have to end up in the same situation I was before. Yeah, comfortable. Shoulders really, really comfortable. Uh, um, and with this feeling that there is space for both of us. So the exercise we did before is where we want to arrive after the pivot. We're going to show it again. Sidestep, pivot, and I want to arrive to that comfortable place. Okay. We can continue in ocho, one step. And now after the pivot, I have to find the, my other part of the embrace. Remember that we were working that we have two sides. So now we're in the closed side. And now we're in, in the open side. So try to implement in your ochos now the exercise that we did at the beginning. Yeah, the idea is that we're always able to stop it and feel comfortable and really on axis when we st when we finish the ocho. Yeah. Good. Followers, you will need impulse in your hips. That doesn't mean that we tense in the upper body. If you see Nasia, will lower a little bit the level of her hips and she will pass her hips. Boom. Yeah. So we're using the floor mm. um, to help, of course. And that is, uh, again, it's the Ocho technique that we, we have worked so much. So in a perfect word, we would be able to have both conf comfort and power when we do Ochos. Yeah. You see the skirt of Nasia is flying. That's what we want. For the follower <laughs> now, uh, a sensation this gives is that I roll, mm. let's say, from this side to, to the other side. Let's show it a little bit closer. And, um, so uh, let's, let's do it again. Yeah. So you see, when uh, we do these autos, I, I roll my upper body in his. And with that, why we do this? Because in that way, I ensure that I have a torsion and my upper body focuses on, uh, on my partner. And this is what Eva and Brundis also talked about, uh, that we need in the, in the boleo a lot. Yeah, so we're going to take a really small ocho. You, you, we're not going to show the legs, but we're going to show what Nasia just explained, that she's rolling from one side, boom, to the other side. Yeah? So we always have contact. Boom, to the other side. Um, that's really, again, really helpful to work in a close embrace because it shows you that... It shows you the, the amount of torsion that we need for the boleo. 
I think that sometimes, well, generally, when we learn something new, we put too much energy. For example, when I do yoga, <laughs> I do I put too much too much energy in the positions, and sometimes it requires a little more of naturality. Uh, yeah, yeah. A feeling comfortable what 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 we're trying to do. So here's the same. We want to make sure that you're comfortable in your torsion and that you're not overdoing, which is something really natural when we dance tango, that we overdo the torsions because we think that we need to do it a lot more. Here we're, um, we are really putting the focus on being comfortable, finding that role that Nasya just said. Yes? So we move on. We're going to just review what uh, Hany and Brindis did on Tuesday quickly. So now we start taking a sidestep. And after this pivot, we want this moment, the moment that my follower goes with her free leg and I interrupt that pivot. When I say we interrupt, it's because if I don't interrupt it, we go to an ocho. Yeah. So let's go again, we rewind. Um, and I interrupt that step. Good. I don't know if you can see us. Yes, you can see my feet. Okay, can you collect just for a moment because I want to show yeah, something yeah. for the leader. Yeah, thank you. So leaders, you see that here, this line would be my same line, the line of my hips. But for the voleo, I want to walk closer to her axis. That's how I get the spiral. That's how I get that free leg going out. Yeah, and in the moment I start transferring, then it's the moment that I will yeah. I project my leg. Yeah, that would be the, the limit. This is uh, the moment of the limit, right? We want to reach that limit and then it's upper body for me and hips for the follower, like normal ocho. And look where we end. In the position we talked at the beginning of the class. Exactly. Yes. That's why we insist so much with being comfortable and allowing ourselves to roll between one side and the other, yeah? In that way, your boleo will become much more natural and not stiff, and you will know how to end it also, yeah? Yeah, for me, sometimes if I don't stop it, I end up feeling a little bit out, you know, of one yeah. side or the other yeah. one or forward or something, and that ends kind of, I'm not ruining all, but, but it's, I, I stop feeling comfortable when I start falling, right? Okay. So let's see it yeah. once again and then we move in the high. Yeah, so we go, we go this one, Hany and Brindis, the one they did on Tuesday, Voleo, and it finishes there. I don't remember exactly how they finish it, but it was something like that. You can go by the video. The one we want now is the one that we take a sidestep, we do the first Ocho, and we want the Voleo that goes to the other side. Right? I hope you're following, but now we want this voleo. Again, leaders, if I go in my own line, I would just go away. I can get and different I, I can get different yeah. I will take the she step. will take that's one one of the possible outcomes if I go away. Right? I need to go around her axis. Yeah, it's almost like our feet are going to meet. We're almost sharing the line, but then when I step, the thing goes circular. And I conclude. And we complete it, yeah. So, one, one, voleo, and we complete it. W Followers, at the moment that we say we complete, Try to uh, to touch the the leg of your your leader, and that uh, automatically will cor correct your uh, your hips. Maybe um, if we can show you, will see it from this side. We're gonna show it from this angle. So, boom. When we finish it, she's she's going for the contact out there. Be careful with collapsing, followers, or with pa going too quick. Yeah. yeah, passing too quick, right? This, as you see, you see that Nasia has has level her hips when she when she passed there, and that's really good for this moment, for the togetherness of the continuity of 
the the end of the it's almost a parada we could say or pasada so you can always try to do some ochos to feel comfortable and then voleo yeah we go one more time remember comfortable in the torsions boom 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 yeah until it's really important to repeat it in the beginning um, it comes will come closer to you so you don't feel that alone it's really important to get some repetitions of this movement right because it it could be it could easily end up being a stiff moment a stiff kind of movement stiff kind of dynamic so the idea here is that we synchronize and that we're really comfortable the whole way right um, the first exercise that we, we really emphasize it's really important this idea of sorry of being comfortable in this kind of places because it's going to appear a lot and it appears now also at the moment of finalizing yeah and, and collecting we're so actually we're, we're finishing here and on this one right it's again here that's a feeling this is how it looks in the upper body we're going to show a little bit move back so you can see our legs this is the ending but you see that it's the same thing okay right so we move on a little bit more because we're running out of time. Um, another option of variation is to do it in close embrace. Uh, the close embrace will help you a lot to find those comfortable torsions, yeah? Especially for the followers. It's going to be challenging because it is challenging as usual. The close embrace is always challenging, but it's really um, also helpful. Yeah. One more time, we'll show it in close embrace. And you are gonna be working a lot with your with the torsions. Really nice. So far the follower is the one that has been working the most with her with her own spiral and torsions. Now what we're gonna do is we we're going to ask also the leaders to change their position. Um, and something that Martin worked with Eva yesterday. So, going back to the boleo of my partner, right? To the back boleo. She's doing a back boleo, and I'm going in a side, an open step, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to show you from my back so you can see that I'm taking an open step. I'm changing way, I'm taking another open step, and then I'm returning in a third open step, and that's when the voleo kicks in, right? One more time, I'm going to repeat this for the leaders. I'm taking a side step, another side step, and another side step again. Yeah? One of the possibilities, one of the really cool possibility, and this is uh, one of the variations that we have for you today, would be change wake, change wake again, and now instead of leading the voleo with an open step, I'm going to lead a voleo with a back step for me. Yeah, this also looks really cool, and as a consequence. The way out of the boleo, it's longer. We almost get a planeo for free. Yeah, we're going to show it again from this angle. So, side, change, side, change, bam, bam, boom. And it will add a little bit of extra energy in, in, the, in the outcome of the movement. Yeah. You probably, I hope that, uh, hopefully you can see from home that Nasia uh, is getting a little bit more of momentum in the way out of, of the volleyo. Because the movement is longer, so it invites for, uh, for a planeo. And so I'm that, keep uh, moving around her. Yes, um, certain things, as we said, we're not going to explain it all. There are certain things about, for example, axis, circle. Uh, circumference, uh, things that we, we talk a lot about it on Tango, but today since level 2-3 we assume that you know it, right? So if I keep walking around her, 
I'm going to extend that momentum that way out. Yeah? I always focus on my upper body to, to, to focus on his upper body. And I'm going to talk about it now when yeah. we do it once Sorry. again. We, we show, we show again Nastia now. It's the, again, it's the low boleo. We will do the high boleo also in this version as well. That would be the one in the open step, right? And now leaders, well, there's some more variation for the leaders. Back, open, and then it finishes. Yeah? So that was one of the variations for the leader. We In the last minutes, we would like to talk about the third and last variation that we have prepared for you today. And it's <coughs> a frequent question that we get a lot. <coughs> and sometimes I think, uh, tango teachers, yeah, thank you. Sometimes tango teachers, we struggle a little bit with, with the answer, with finding the answers of when is the boleo high and when is the low boleo, right? When is it one or either the other? And sometimes, uh, well, sometimes we don't even agree in the dance, to be honest, guys, right? It's really, it's really yeah. subtle. Uh, and, but it's possible, and it's a big discussion that we have tango dancers, uh, especially because, well, the ballet is a big movement, and we want to make sure that when we use it, that we don't kill anyone on the dance floor, and that we're really responsible with it, that we don't use it uh, too much if, if, yeah. if the dance floor so is crowded. Sometimes it can happen that the music intensity or my partner inspires me or I feel like, okay, that's a boleo led, I will do it and I would want to do it high, but there is someone behind me, so I, I don't have the space for it. I need to protect. Yeah. But, uh, so <laughs> there might be, uh, it's the awareness of everything, but uh, it's also how we we agree during the, the, the dance and uh, what the music uh, brings and the in intensity at the moment. Uh, but let's go to do that. Yeah, I let's let's try a little bit. Uh, let's we're gonna tell you what what is that we do. So for example, in the low voleo, as we did before, we're gonna show the one we 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 brought for you today. So in the low voleo, I'm taking my time to really go around my partner. Yeah. And I'm not changing, I'm, I'm really careful in the way I'm transferring the way in this open step, right? I'm kind of gentle. And then I, if I want to keep it low, I also go low in my level. And I eventually go a little bit more up when I want to complete it. Yeah, so the level is included there. The level of my, uh, of my hips, of my legs and hips and the follower of course needs to respond and uh, sorry to this level let's say yeah sorry we're a little bit too far again <coughs> um. yeah and in the case i'm excuse you <coughs> here i am and in the case we want a high voleo I would probably, I would definitely use more energy in the in the moment I transfer weight. Let us show us again. When I transfer weight, I put more energy. Yeah. So that that also is open to whatever my uh, my follower will respond to it. As we said before, yeah. it's hard for us to agree when it's high, when it's low, but. Try it. I I think exactly. You, yeah, I think you should try it because sometimes you know it's a boleo and it's an intensity one, but you haven't tried it enough, so the leg will not go high simply because you haven't tried it enough. Try it. Uh, the moment that you do the boleo in order to get some beautiful uh, boleos in the legs, try to uh, extend as much as you can. And if you see my foot here, I try, let's say, to, to bend. You can do this exercise like... Uh, bend and again extend. I try at that at the moment of the boleo. I try to think that my toe, big toe, want to touch my back, and and I extend that moment so I don't do this ba banana foot. You see, I don't want this, uh, but keep it straight. Let's say and and think. Okay, my big toe wants to touch my back. Uh, imagine that. So you get these more beautiful uh, legs in, in the boleo. 
Really important detail for the followers, yeah? So, um, now in the synchronicity and the things we can do together. So, first of all, this moment, the moment we prepare and we both extend the free leg, right? Then when I start transferring weight, when my partner feels that I'm starting transferring the weight, it's the moment my partner starts to lift the leg. So the, you see that this is the, would be the highest, the peak of the boleo. Yeah, it's work it slowly and with coordination. Remember, the upper body goes first and then the leg. Exactly. And then the leg. Now, followers, you probably have a lot of questions here. When is the moment to pivot? Right? Oh, sorry, I got lost. I need to do it again. I'm sorry. We no, start from okay. scratch. I really got lost. We go again. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, again. Now I remember. So preparation, when I start transferring weight, it's that my follower is lifting. And now when I move my upper body, is the moment you're going to release and complete Find the pivot. The position that you're talking Finding about. Finding the... Exactly. Yeah. yeah? So we need to end up there. We want all those steps, yeah. Boom, up, and we finish. And a re really, really, really last vibration that we can give you today is the one with the back cross for the leaders. Again, what we can insist, it's to work it slow. Remember that we need to sneak around each other, yeah. So, projection for both. When, when I start tr tr uh, transferring my follower, lift her legs. Yeah. When I transfer her, she, her lift her leg, she lift her leg. <laughs> and then upper body, and I can continue with that. Sorry, a little bit slower. We go again. It's hard, it's hard to get the momentum when we do it really slow. So. Preparation, transfer. When I start moving my upper body, my followers start pivoting and that gives me the possibility to continue with that motion, yeah? So leaders, we need to be really um, aware. We, we need to be uh, aware and make sure that then when we lead the boleo, it's not that we're just sending, a, a, like we're throwing information to the air. Uh, make sure that you're clear and you're connected and synchronized with your partner in order to get the really momentum and, in or and also in order to enjoy the way out. Yeah, sometimes I think that we, we really rush the way out of the boleo and that, you know, you see this thing that you're not sure if it was a boleo or if it was, it was actually a fight, right? Um, and, and so again, be aware, be connected, find that momentum. And that connection. So uh, Herman talked a lot about when he he, uh, let's say, turns, that's the moment that I will lift my leg. I don't do it by myself because we can do like we can just lift our legs alone and it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Eva also showed yesterday that, how it looks. Um, really good. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, we're going to we're gonna dance just a little bit. We have one, yeah, two more minutes. What we're going to do, we're just going to show uh, a little bit what Hany and Brindis did and what we brought, which is a little bit of a continuation of it. And then we're just going to show a few boleos. Remember, so I think the most beautiful boleos are the ones that they are natural. Uh, so more neutral or uh, yeah, natural positions. Um, and this looks good. Yeah. So, musica, maestro. Thank you. 
que Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, we're going to continue again next week. We haven't decided a topic yet, but we're going to have again a topic for the entire week. I hope that you're enjoying this new format that we're bringing to you so you can see uh, the differences between the teachers, even though uh, we are sharing the same subject, sometimes different perspective could it help helps you. It actually to, yeah. uh, to accommodate it in your own way. Sometimes it helps. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you again see next, you week. next week. Bye-bye.